admiration. It's almost as if you're sort of freezing time. What do you mean you want to interview me? Oh, 100%, yeah. A friend of mine said this the other day. Every single sheet of glass is different. I mean, the details are different. Hopefully the images will, will be roughly the same, but the details around the edges um, and how the chemicals slightly wash across, mm. each one is different, um, so which, is, which is fun and annoying and exciting. It's funny because it reminds me slightly in a different way of I was talking to someone who was working in in bronze and they were saying that when they colour the bronze it's never the same twice and sometimes they think they've messed it up come back two hours later and they like it yes you know and there's lots of that i mean it's so some mornings you go in and go oh gosh is it going to work I, sometimes you can feel it and then sometimes you can't and it's uh, and you don't know until it's in the chemicals and you're watching it come out each one there's probably three or four sheets of glass mm -hmm. And they might all be really, really good, or one might have a streak across it, which is... There are certain streaks which are fun and acceptable, and others like, mm, not quite. Yeah. So each, each sort of glass, two or three attempts. Mm. And it takes about three days for the chemicals to dry. One, one layer of chemical takes a day to dry, then the next layer of chemical takes a day to dry. And then once you've printed them, it takes a day to dry. So it's a long process, but I've always loved cars and I've always wanted to photograph cars, but I wanted to do it differently and sort of, and this is why I chose this technique. I feel it really encapsulates them, the, the old school feel of the process and the old school feel of, especially the older cars. It's almost as if you're sort of freezing time on that piece of film. Mm. It's that one piece of film that is just that one moment in time. Well, you don't feel that digital because it's no. just, on a screen in front of you, click, click, click. With the negatives, like, yes, that, that is that bit of time right there. If you're shooting medium format, you get 10 shots. Mm. Whereas digital, you can, you know, just digital, uh, um, Mimia 6, 7, you have to look down and, and carefully think about each shot. And this one was sort of done out of love. I met this guy with this car and said, I must photograph your car. Mm -hmm. The trouble is we all love doing creative stuff and if you're not careful it's very easy to end up doing it anyway yes. for nothing but you have to keep the lights on you have to you know you know this is a fantastic era the vehicles i think always sort of reflect the era they're in don't they yes i mean this is wonderfully curvaceous uh post second world war a little bit of optimism yes absolutely yeah I love the rivets coming up with all this along here, it's fantastic. You did the engine as well, didn't you? Yes, that was a, a fun shot um from above. Yeah. Um, but it's almost like it, you're looking at a map of its brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When, you, when you look at these sort of details, go, this is how it all works. It is a lovely thing. It is fantastic. You know. So yeah, the camera was right here. Yeah. And it was a, a, a lovely shot of the engine. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you take the bonnet off a car today, you can see nothing. You can do that. If you computer, break down, you can see a computer. Yeah. Or, or, yeah. You, you can't do it. There's nothing you can do roadside. But you, you look at this, and if something wasn't right, you'd probably be able to see it. Yeah. And those days where, like, like in the pits, they could do just about anything on that as well, yes. couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I'm loving the fact you're shooting on film, and I'm loving the restrictions of it. People still, still record on tape to this day, you know, especially the orchestral stuff is still done on tape. At Abbey Road, we still, we still record on two-inch tape. You can feel film. You can feel yeah. the shot on film. You can feel the depth and the roundness. Whereas, I mean, digital is very clever, but it doesn't quite have that, yeah, to yeah. me, yeah. that sort of... I think things have to come back to what emotionally moves you. To me, one of the, the, the most rewarding uh, using film was in that moment of in the developer mm. and you're watching the image come up. Brilliant. 